Hello class. In this video, I'd like to construct a relative frequency distribution using StatCrunch. Uh, so I'm going to open up StatCrunch and find the data set 2.2.34. So in StatCrunch, I select data set. We're in chapter 2. And I'm going to scroll down to 2.2.34. And it looks like we are looking at dividend yield. Okay, so if I select graph, scroll down to histogram, I click dividend yield. Now we have a couple of options. We can do a relative frequency or just a regular frequency histogram. I believe the question asks for relative frequency. And I want to see the value above the bar. So I'm going to click that button. And I think that's all we need. So I'm going to select Compute, and there is my relative frequency histogram with the values above the bar. Now, when I look at this uh, relative frequency histogram, you know, it's tough to really discern a shape here, but I guess if I had to say something, maybe I'd say this was skewed right. It's definitely not uh, normal, right? It's not bell-shaped, and it's not really nor uh, uniform, so I'd probably go with skewed right. Um, if I wanted to change this from a relative frequency histogram to just a plain old frequency histogram, I can click Options, Edit, and just by changing the type from relative frequency to frequency, I have a new histogram. Notice the shape is still the same, it's just the values change on top. Thanks for watching.